Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, I would like to read an article entitled Maritime Claim Primer at Lamotti Law Firm LLC. Maritime personal injury claims represent the majority of our trial, our trial practice. Although our attorney are also admitted to practice in Mississippi and Texas where coastal federal district and state country courts have some maritime cases. Ramotillo firm is home based in New Orleans, which is the heart of the maritime litigation in America. Our attorney have decades on of experience in almost every area of maritime litigation, including trials and appeals. Our office is literally across the street from the U.S. District Court from the Eastern District of Louisiana and the U.S. Court of Appeals from the Fifth Circuit. More maritime cases are filed or appealed in these two courts than any in any other federal courts. Also located in New Orleans are three state courts where more admiralty and maritime cases are filled of appeal than anywhere else in America. They are the Civil District Court for Orleans, Paris, the Louisiana Fort Circuit Court of Appeals, and the Louisiana Supreme Court. Virtually always, there is a preceding judge well first in maritime law. We have an active litigation practice before all of these courts. Our litigation practice include Blue Water, International Shipping and Brown Water, Mississippi River Jones Act claims, Longshoremen and Harbor Workers Compensation Act 905B claims, Offshore Vessel Jones Act claims, General maritime law claims for unseaworthiness of for maintenance and cure, offshore platform third party claims, and death of the high seas act claims. This primer has been prepared to help you with a general understanding of a vessel, types of a maritime claims, and the stages of limitation which, which apply. 1. The Jones Act. The Jones Act 46 U.S.C. 30104 is a law enacted by Congress that provides protection to persons or seamen who are members of the crew of the vessel. The Jones Act applies to inland river workers as well as offshore workers who work on a jack-up rig, semi-submersible barge, drill ship, tug, towboat, crew boat, drill ship, dredge, floating crane, tanker, cargo ship, fishing vessel, chemical ship, research vessel, construction barge, lay barge, motorized platform diving vessel, cruise ship, recreational boat, and or other floating or movable structure. The Jones Act governs the liability of vessel operators and marine em employees for the work-related injury or death of an employee. It is a federal cause of action, meaning that the United States Congress intended for all seamen's injuries throughout the nation to be guided by the same liability standard of the Jones Act. Although the Jones Act protects seamen, it is not the same as workers' compensation. It does not require payment regardless of fault. In order for a crew member to recover under the Jones Act, he must prove some negligence or fault on the part of the vessel owners, operators, officers, and us and or fellow employment by the reason of any defect in the vessel, its gear, tackle, or equipment. The Jones Act 
provide an injured seaman a remedy against his or her employees for injuries arising from negligent act of the employer or co-workers during the course of employment on a ship or vessel. This means that the employment must do something unreasonable or fail to perform a reasonable act that would have revenge, prevented injury in order to the seaman to win his claim. An injured worker's maritime claim under the Jones Act can also raise claim against a vessel owner that a dangerous condition exists on the vessel that made the vessel unseaworthy. If you are a crewman on a boat or vessel and were injured while working, you will be entitled to sue your employer for injuries caused by the employer's negligence, the Jones Act, offshore drilling rigs, drill ships, barges, and other motorized structure with which are movable and which float from hole to hole, are considered vessel under the Jones Act. If you are a member of the crew of such a vessel and were injured, while in the food, food the ends of your employment, then your employer will also be res responsible for paying your medical bills and paying you a small daily allowance called maintenance during the time you are injured. In addition, you may be able to file a lawsuit against your employer if you, if your employer was negligent or if there was something wrong with the vessel which made it unfit for its intended purpose. In a Jones Act lawsuit, you may seek to recover past and future economic loss, pain, and suffering mental anguish disfigurement loss of capability to enjoy life loss of the ability to perform household services and take care of yourself and other damages recoverable under the maritime law Chapter 2 Blue Water and Brown Water Vessels 1. Blue Water Vessel Blue Water Mission Vessel plying international and worldwide trade are common in the Mississippi River as far north as U.S. Highway 190 Bridge at Baton Rouge, Louisiana, which is the northern navigational limit for such vessel because of draft restrictions. This vessel typically include tankers, boat carriers, and container ships. Blue water vessel. Two. Brown wet. Brown water vessels. Brown water vessels typically include harbor craft, dredge vessel, ferry boats, and tow boats, which actually put flotillas of or perch river perches typically contain liquid and book product they can be open hoppers cover hoppers or tankers topards of various sizes and horsepowers are found virtually everywhere on the mississippi mississippi river and its tribute this with the large of operating on the end control in example no locks lower mississippi river below cairo to black mines paris luciana so this the time is up and the article will be continued to read on the next video so bye bye 
and don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye